Hi, I'm Stuart Shepard. Welcome to the Stoplight Cafeteria. Imagine the government runs a cafeteria chain for children. Kids get assigned a place to eat based on their zip code. Every child gets the same meal. Occasionally, the food is terrific. Most of the time, it's okay. Sometimes it's dreadful, inedible, maybe even bad for you. But tax dollars pay for everything, so most everybody sends their kids there to eat. Now imagine you have a child with special dietary needs. You ask the local food district for help, but they say they cannot accommodate you. They serve what they serve. You either eat it or you don't. You lose your nutritional rights once your child enters the cafeteria door. So you decide to try a private religious restaurant that's quite a bit farther away, but the menu meets your child's needs. The principal chef back at the government place shows you to the door and tells you, you can eat wherever you want, but we're gonna keep all the money that was collected to feed your child because we've got to keep the government cafeteria strong. See ya. Would you agree that would be fundamentally unfair? Shouldn't the funding be attached to the child rather than the government cafeteria workers? As an astute stoplight viewer, you already know we're not talking about cafeterias. But it illustrates one reason why there was such a big fight over the nominee for Secretary of Education. She supports educational freedom of choice for families like yours. But the powerful special interest group behind the Democrats' protest is the NEA, the nation's largest teachers' union, which just happens to disproportionately give money to elect Democrats. And there's another reason for the big fight, the menu. Activists see public schools as an opportunity to re-educate your child to see the way they do. That's why today's menu goes so far beyond reading, writing, and arithmetic. Out here in the real world, if a restaurant doesn't please its customers, they take their money elsewhere. That competition drives restaurant owners to improve service, update their menu, and keep their customers happy. And that sounds like a recipe for success.